everybody quest wise here and today what i want to talk about is a cool thing that i kind of stumbled upon i think it was via facebook um and i was kind of intrigued by the concept of it uh and that it is a fifth edition uh supplement a campaign series uh but done in a very unique and 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 kind of a, a very cool twist to that idea this is called yig snake granddaddy and it is done by peterson games Peterson Games being Sandy Peterson of Call of Cthulhu and RuneQuest fame, the Sandy Peterson has created this uh, this company called Peterson Games, and he's creating uh, a number of different things, but one of them is this thing called the Yig Snake Granddaddy. It is a Cthulhu Mythos Saga for 5e, uh, and, and today we're going to be talking about book number one. This is a subscription service. It is a Mythos-inspired fantasy campaign that is told over four different books so you get one book per month uh, and it's told over 14 episodes so there's 14 sort of adventures all linked together to tell this entire campaign uh, and it's levels i think it takes you from first all the way to 15th level your characters uh, so a lot like the traditional 5e books uh, adventure books um, that will take you from you know level one up to a determined level, some usually 15, sometimes a little higher, sometimes a little less. Um, but told as a su subscription service where you pay, I think it's $20 a month and you, you, you subscribe to it. And every, every month you'll be, you'll be charged $20 plus shipping. Um, and then you'll receive a hardcover full color book that's part of this campaign series. And that's told over the four book series. Um, and, and I was really intrigued by this aspect of a subscription service for a hardcover full color book. It utilizes the Sandy Peterson's Cthulhu Mythos 5 ebook. So um, while it's not 100% necessary to have the Cthulhu Mythos 5 ebook, it's highly recommended, uh, and I think you definitely should check this book out anyway. Uh, so it takes the Cthulhu mythos, and it brings it into a 5e fantasy setting, as if, like, what if a fantasy world, um, sort of the old old ones, the you know, the elder gods sort of um, awoke in this fantasy world, or arrived here, or were summoned here by some kind of reason. Um, there's a lot of different options for that kind of aspect of things. Uh, so it's not... It utilizes that and references that book quite a bit. Uh, although after reading the first of this subscription series, it's not a 100% necessary book, but it is something you definitely will want to have in order to play out this full campaign. Uh, it's a horror, um, uh, you know, it's a horror fantasy type of a setting uh, and uses sanity rules. Uh, that, that Sandy Peterson has, has collaborated and those are all fully detailed in the Cthulhu Mythos 5e book. Um, but I guess if you wanted to, you could default to the sanity rules um, in the Dungeon Master's Guide for 5e if you wanted to just kind of sim simplify things a little bit. Although the rules for sanity in the Cthulhu Mythos books for 5th for edition are much more detailed. They're much more like from the Call of Cthulhu uh, book from Chaosium. Uh, so if you want that full experience, you're going to want that book as well, too. It's kind of an open world feel to, these, to this campaign. It's, it's um, uh, the Cthulhu mythos kind of played out in this fantasy world. Um, and while the adventures are, um, you know, trying to tell a story, it's trying to build this campaign together. Uh, it definitely feels like a very open world, a lot of like what the other 5th edition books are doing is that it's a very sandboxy feel that you can go different places in any determined order and still be able to tell this great story. This first book, and this actually this first series, focuses on the Eotheans, okay? So he's taking a small part of the Cthulhu Mythos and he's uh, um, focusing on that. And I'm assuming that there will probably be other subscription services later that will focus on different um, gods and different creatures from the Cthulhu Mythos as well, too. Part one of this series uh, is called The Land Out of Time. So it's a very, um, I think, dinosaur swamp kind of, of setting. It's that it's, He's focusing on that sort of aspect. So there are lots of dinosaurs. There are lots of, of um, uh, prehistoric type feel to this game. So if you dig that, you're going to really, really love this. There are four parts to part one, if that makes any sense. 
Uh, and so this first book covers uh, um, four aspects, four adventures that link together to start telling this campaign. Um, and, and overall, the four books themselves, the first one's called The Land of the Time, the second one will be called Against the Serpent Folk, book number three will be Prehistory War, and then Ancient Ages Again. So we're going to see a cool progression of, of a fantasy world that's sort of being trying to drug back to a prehistoric time. Um, so you're going to encounter lots of things like Yithians and uh, Yig snake folk and uh, dinosaurs and, and, and lots of cool prehistoric type of feel to this sort of horror campaign. Uh, like I said before, it's sold in a subscription style. Um, full color, 75 plus page hardcovers for each one of these. It's such a great deal. It's 1995 or excuse me, 1999 each uh, U.S. dollars for that. Uh, and it's in each subscribe for four months. Uh, and you get charged $20 for each month of those as, as the months progress. Uh, the minute you, you subscribe, you get the first PDF for free. And every month you'll get a PDF. Um, the, the minute that that book is released, you'll get an instant PDF to, to read over. And then the book will be shipped to you as well, too. Um, and there are other cool benefits to the subscription service as well, too. You're going to get discounts on miniatures and other types of, 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 of items that come out for the subscription service as well, too. So Mythos Horror Fantasy for 5e, it's very, very, very cool. It, it incorporates all the stuff that you love from 5th edition already, all the races, all the classes, all that kind of stuff, and adds this cool Mythos Horror to the whole thing. And, and I, I love dinosaurs anyway. I love that kind of stuff where, um, you know, you incorporate sort of these steamy jungles of prehistory and uh, in, in fantasy. And I, and, and, and I can't wait for you guys to check it out because I think it's very, very cool. I love the cool twist on, on things like uh, having a subscription service for this kind of stuff. Um, I've, you, you know, we've seen this kind of thing before. Uh, the, the, the campaign arc kind of thing for um, Pathfinder. Uh, fifth edition likes to do them in individual books. Uh, so it's cool to see Sandy Peterson taking those two ideas and jamming them together and making a subscription service out of it. Um, very, very cool. Go check it out. I'll put a link down below uh, in the notes to where you can find uh, the page for Peter Peterson Games and uh, how you can get uh, your chance to join up on this. And you want to do it soon because... Um, I believe that, you know, each month as it goes by, um, you may be able to start at the beginning and get number one, uh, but I, as it goes by, it's going to be harder and harder to get that first act of things. So until next time, I'm QuestWise. Stay safe, my friends, and game on.